I bet y'all Canelo Alvarez thought that he was just gonna have an easy victory on May 4th versus Jaime Munguia. I bet y'all Canelo Alvarez thought that he was just gonna cherry pick Munguia and then go out to celebrate Canelo Alvarez style. That's fucking funny, cabrones! David Benavidez is gonna spoil Canelo Alvarez Cinco de Mayo plans. David told reporters that he is planning to attend the Canelo vs. Munguia fight on May 4th. I bet y'all Al Heyman gave David Benavidez a front row seat to go watch the fight. I bet y'all the cameras are all gonna be on David Benavidez when Canelo Alvarez is fighting Jaime Munguia. I bet y'all Al Heyman told David Benavidez, yo, when Canelo Alvarez wins, walk up into that ring and check Canelo Alvarez's temperature. We ain't never seen a fighter step into the ring after a Canelo Alvarez cherry pick. David Benavidez is the man for the job. I bet y'all Canelo Alvarez is gonna do what Devin Haney did when Shakur Stevenson stepped into that ring. Devin Haney ran out the ring when Shakur stepped in and I bet y'all Canelo Alvarez is gonna run out the ring when David Benavidez walks into that ring. Canelo just ain't built like that. It is what it is. Speaking of fake individuals who just ain't built like that, Devin Haney tweeted out, Ryan is still fat. He typed up some Arabic word that I don't know what it means. If some of y'all know what this word means, type it up in the comment section. But then he said he gonna knock him out on 420. He claiming that Ryan Garcia look fat. I think Devin Haney is just trolling. Then Devin Haney said, I'm gonna show y'all where trolling and playing gets you April 20th. Also, tickets are on sale still. Your ears did not deceive you. Let me play that again. Also, tickets are on sale still. Tickets are definitely still on sale. They are struggling to sell tickets for Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. Why the hell would you have two California fighters fight in New York City at the Barclays Center when they are not from there? Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia both do not have a fan base on the East Coast. This is a terrible idea to have this fight at the Barclays Center, I'm just saying. Shakur Stevenson retweeted this from my mixtapes. It says that Haney vs. Garcia ticket sales are not looking too good for their fight on April 20th. He's not a pay-per-view attraction. They even lowered the prices of the tickets to try to desperately make this into a sellout. If you got $126 in your pocket, that will get you into the building. If you got $126, you could go see Devin Haney fight Ryan Garcia live on 420. Also, tickets are on sale still. Y'all know how Bill Haney always says, they say everything except let's fight. Ayo, hey, Bill Haney, you say everything except them Devin Haney versus Regis Pro Grade pay-per-view numbers. Now you saying everything except why this fight ain't sold out yet. The tickets used to be $878 for the lower seats. Then they got lowered to $588. Now they $355. Why ain't this fight selling out? They lowered the prices, so I want to let everybody know they lowered the prices. Let's go. This just further proves. The Javante Davis vs. Ryan Garcia did over a million pay-per-view buys because of Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia. This just goes to prove that Devin Haney is not an attraction. He will never be a pay-per-view attraction. He's inspired by the devil. Fuck him. Hey, yo, shout out to Ryan Garcia because at least Ryan Garcia is trying to sell this fight. The man goes on social media every single day trying to promote his fight with Devin Haney. It is not Ryan Garcia's fault that Devin Haney just don't know how to speak. It is not Ryan Garcia's fault that Devin Haney will never be an attraction. Ryan Garcia posted this on Instagram today. It says, you don't want to miss this. They even lowered the prices, NYC, let's go. Once you go to a swimming pool party with Diddy, it's like you don't even pay attention to what the fuck he's saying. Bro. At the end of the day, once, once your booty hole got tickled, it's over. Once it got tickled, it is over with. Do y'all remember Javante Davis versus Rory Romero at the Barclays Center? That fight sold out in only one day. Also, tickets are on sale still. Meanwhile, Devin Haney's version of trying to sell this fight. Devin Haney's definition of trying to get people to buy the pay-per-view is trying to sell these bogus-ass shirts right here. Everybody take a look at these shirts. One says, Ryan Garcia is not La Raza. Mexicans for Devin Haney, stop the damn cat. 
Then he got a shirt with Ryan Garcia on his knee from the Gervonta Tank Davis fight. You can't make this up. Maybe Devin Haney and Bill Haney did not think this through. How you gonna try to sell your fight by posting a picture from the Gervonta Davis fight? This only puts pressure on Devin Haney. Let me tell y'all why. Due to the fact that Devin Haney is now selling shirts with Ryan Garcia being stopped by Javante Davis, let me and you both know that Devin Haney now has pressure on him to stop Ryan Garcia. Hey yo, Devin Haney, notice how Ryan Garcia is getting stopped in this picture. The real question is, will you stop Ryan Garcia? I don't think so. Devin Haney ain't got no type of punching power. Devin Haney will never be able to punch. It's crazy that he's using Javante Tank Davis still to sell his fight that is desperately trying to sell and they even lowering ticket prices. Also, tickets are on sale still. It's just crazy that Devin Haney is now trying to get the Mexican fan base to go against Ryan. Ayo, hey, Devin Haney, you can keep on trying that, bro. Nobody believes you. Whether you like it or not. Ryan Garcia is Mexican. Even though the man does not speak Spanish, he still is Mexican. If Mexican boxing fans show up on 420, they will be rooting for Ryan Garcia. I don't give a damn what type of bogus ass shirts you are selling. And if you really take a look at these two shirts, Devin Haney is desperately, and I do repeat, desperately trying to get the Mexican fan base to attend this fight by using the Mexican fan base against Ryan Garcia. Devin Haney is desperately trying to get Javante Tank Davis fans to attend this fight by posting a picture of Javante Davis knockout. Let that sink in. Also, tickets are on sale still. A Twitter user by the name of You Shine tweeted to Bill Haney. The man said, yo, Bill and Devin Haney, when you wanted to fight Loma Chicken and Cambosis, you went to top rank. When you wanted to fight Regis, you went back to Matchroom. When you wanted to fight Ryan Garcia, you went over to Golden Boy. You say you want to fight Tank, but don't want to go to PBC. You dudes is all cap. You just want to use Javante Tank Davis' name for retention. We get it now. They lowered the prices, so I want to let everybody know they lowered the prices. Let's go. Y'all do know why Bill Haney is willing to fight on top rank. Matchroom and Golden Boy, but not PBC and Al Heyman, right? Y'all do know why Bill Haney refuses to sign with Al Heyman? Because like Leonard Ellaby said, on PBC, you get paid what you weigh, and he knows damn well. Al Heyman will pull up them previous pay-per-view numbers that Devin Haney just can't do. Devin Haney is not an attraction. He will never be a pay-per-view attraction, and y'all gonna see that on 420. Also, tickets are on sale still. Also, tickets are on sale still.